Jesus Christ. Good evening. I believe you all know what is this. It is called Chaco. 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 I'll explain it to you before I bring myself onto an end. God bless you for joining the Facebook Live. My name is Apostle Father Emmanuel Okai. Kindly like this video and share it. God bless you. Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please, the moment you join the live, kindly like and share. Kindly like and share the live. Yes, kindly like and share. Tonight is another night, a Picasso Power Hour with the topic prophetic acts prophetic acts today someone sent me a message and asked me what is the meaning of this kind of art i said but i couldn't get a chance to reply the person in time i believe if the person is watching or she's paying attention May she be attention very well, and I'll explain more to her. God bless you. So please, kindly like and share. Kindly like and share. Kindly like and share the video, okay? Kindly like and share this video, and God will richly bless you. Tell a friend to tell another friend to join the life. Yes, yes, yes. Tell a friend to tell another friend to join the life. Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sakabruli sekadebe. Losu kudurubu zikadebe. Risha kadadaba zikadebe. Rukudurubu zikadebe. Lisa kadadaba zikadebe. Holy Spirit, have your way. Let's worship the Lord. He has done great things. He has done great things. Let him show. Mm. He has done great things. Father, we worship you. We lift up our voice and we say, You are great. There's no other God like you. You are great. Yes, Lord. You have done great things. Father, we bless your name. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my soul. Thank you. Rasha Kabrulu Shikedebe. Rasha Kudodobu Zikedebu Rikabe. Rasha Kadadaba Zikedebe. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Raisha mm. Kadadaba. Sorry. Raisha Kadadaba Zikadaba. Rashi Kadadaba Zikadaba. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Raisha Kadadaba Rikabru. Rasha Karadaba Zukurubu, Reza Karadaba, Le Karadaba, Holy Spirit have your way, Holy Spirit have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Reisha Karadaba Zukurubu, Reisha Karadaba Zikadaba, Reisha Karadaba Zikadaba, Rusho Kurubu Zikadaba, Holy Spirit have your way, Holy Spirit have your way. Rishakaba, 
Holy Spirit. Mm. He has done. Good evening wherever you are. My name is Apostle Father Emmanuel Okai from Ghana. I welcome all of you, friends, family, viewers, loved ones, Christians, believers, brethren in the Lord. And I welcome all of you. I salute you for you making time with the Lord. Gil K. James, thank you for watching. I greet my other viewers, Henry Weatherburn, Kimberly Brings, Ren Ellis, and Lisa Joseph. I greet everyone. And may God bless you. May, may God bless you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. We bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that tonight may you bless the heart of your children, their ears, their mind, or whatever that will proceed out from my mouth should be a, should be a blessing unto them. And Father, use me tonight as you never used me before to preach the gospel, to explain it to them and how they can be in a prophetic action, prophetic activity, prophetic act in their, in their Christadom to your glory. Father, I bring every enemy who will stand against this life into judgment in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let the viewers be imparted with your word and prayers. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Good evening once again. I welcome all of you. My name is Apostle Father Emmanuel Okai. And tonight, I am preaching a message with the title, Prophetic Acts. Prophetic Acts. Yesterday, I posted the ad on my Facebook. And when you look at the poster or the ad, you can see there are some objects on the poster. You can see garlic. I have the garlic here. I have the garlic here. You, you, you can see salt. You can see salt. You can see salt. I have the salt here. I have the salt the salt I have the salt here and you can see charcoal or coal coal you can see the coal and I believe that by the end of this sermon of these teachings you able to understand what prophetic act is and how you can apply it as a believer a lot of people are ignorant about this kind of prophetic act. But hear me, believers, I come to you with this revelation, this message. As I said once again, my name is Apostle Father Emmanuel Okain from Ghana. Okay. Prophetic acts. Before I give you the definition of prophetic act, I want you to understand that when biblical scholars, theologians, and ethicists have sought to describe the nature of prophetic calls and prophetic activity much of their source material has been the biblical scriptures and historical document from the early church but are there persons in our contemporary world whose actions and proclamations can be considered analogous to that of the prophetic figures of the canonical scripture 
many scholars would close the period of prophetic activity around the 6th century BC, thereby ruling out of possibility of such figures appearing in our modern times. Yet, from the point of view of theological ethics, ethics, something more needs to be said on this subject, the prophetic act. So in this dissertation, the question of whether contemporary prophetic acts will be revealed to you tonight. So you have to pay attention and invite friends and share and bring a comment. Believers, we live in ex exciting and challenging times. Times when God is bringing about many changes in the church as we know it. One of the changes that I have observed and participated in is the restoration of prophetic acts. As we keep our eyes on Jesus and passionately seek his face, everything he is comes with him. He is spirit and he is prophetic. Hallelujah. Now, when we talk of prophetic act, let me give you a little background about prophetic. When it's thought of prophetic, it comes from the word prophecy. And the prophetic, it is between God and the servant, telling the person or the servant to do this out of what God has said with the word as a prophecy. So we have what we call prophetic gestures. And we, we, we have who is called prophetic person. We have the prophetic seed. We have the prophetic word. Eh? All these things are biblical. The prophetic gesture is biblical. The prophetic act is biblical. But without the prophetic gestures, you will not understand the prophetic acts. When you hear the word prophetic gestures, prophetic gestures also known as sign act or symbolic actions. When I say symbolic actions, you have to understand where a form of communication in which a message was delivered by performing symbolic action. Example, if you read the Bible, where somewhere in, in the book of Numbers, where the people of Israel speak against the um, Moses about the way and they, and, 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 and they complain and murmur and speak against God. And God anger came upon them and he sent serpent to bite them. So the serpent bit by them and they, some of them started dying. So they ran to Moses and plead for their sins and for forgiveness. And Moses also speak to God and God said, 
make a scepter of a type of snake. Anyone that looked at that snake pole, the person will be healed and saved. So Moses did that, and the Israelites, anyone that looks at the serpent pool or the scepter, was saved and healed. You understand? So it is an, an example of the world, the symbolic action or the, 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 the prophetic gesture or the sign act. Are you here with me? And who is a prophetic person? A prophetic person in religion, people regard a prophet is an individual who is regarded as being in contact with a divine being and is said to speak on behalf of that being. Serving as an intermediary with humanity by delivering messages or teachings from the supernatural world source to other people. Now, in Christianity, a prophet is someone who speaks on behalf of, of, of the people, or of God's people, and receives a message from God to his people. So, a prophet is a servant of God, or a messenger who receives information from God and give it, give it to them, his people. So, a prophetic act is more than or differs from a spoken word of prophecy or word of knowledge. A prophetic act is an action, something we do, is an action, something we do under, under the anointing and the unction of the Holy Spirit as a step of faith, as an act of obedience to release the power, the presence, and the victory of God into a situation. Yes, do you get it? Yes, so it can include prophecy and words of knowledge or it can be an act that stands alone without any extras so the bible recalls many prophetic acts but there is no set pattern to go by the holy spirit never gets in a road he doesn't grow stale in his prophetic capacity if you and i are willing to be open to the holy spirit we will see an explosion of his fullness working through us to bring allness to the body so we need to rise in the prophetic proclamations and declarations. We need to rise in the area of authority, moving in the power of God resident within us. You get it? So calling into being the will of God for the situations and circumstances speaking into existence that which does not exist so prophetic acts in all is something 
done at God's direction in the natural or physical realm that support God's working in the spiritual realm to bring forth results that will be manifested in the physical realm or the natural realm. So it is somehow opens the channel for God's presence, God's power and victory to be released to have an effect in the physical realm and change outcomes. For example, in John chapter 9, verse 6 to 7, Jesus Christ used symbolic action when he put clay. Jesus Christ put clay on blind man's eyes and told him to wash in the pool of Siloam. Are you here with me? He also taught his disciples to practice of anointing with oil for healing. Symbolic of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. That is the anointing, practice of anointing with oil. If you read Mark chapter 6 verse 13, the Bible says that, and they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. It is a prophetic action. It is a prophetic act. It is a symbolic action. So a prophetic action can be powerful when it is inspired by the Holy Spirit and expressed with wisdom. Hallelujah. A prophetic action can be intentional at the time. It can be intentional at the time or we can be led by the Holy Spirit. This is a quote right with the intentional at a time i can tell you as i'm a prophet i can tell you use this in a way that you grind this one in the father form and use it at midnight and sprinkle it above according to your problem and God will honor it. God will honor it. Do you understand? Okay. If you check the Bible in Exodus, if not chapter 8, chapter 9, Exodus chapter 8, God told Aaron and Moses that they should gather ashes. We don't know what ashes is. We, they should gather ashes and they should go before Pharaoh. When they go before Pharaoh, they should, they, they should spread the ashes above in the sky. For the ashes will turn into boil on pharaohs, on the cattle, and the people of Egypt. And they did that, and it came to pass. It is a symbolic action. It is a prophetic act. Even without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. There is no an atonement of sin. Or atonement of sin. In the days, goat or ram 
are being presented by the sinful being for their sins to be forgiven when the blood of the goat is sprinkled on the mercy seat by the high priest. It is a symbolic action. So Jesus Christ, what he went through, they spit on his face. He was, he was flogged. He was nailed on the cross. They are all symbolic action. They pierced his side and there was water and blood. He went on the cross. How they crucified him and what they crucified him on. The altar, that is the cross. It is also a prophetic act and a symbolic action. Are you here with me now? So, it is not a formula. A prophetic act is not a formula or method that you can blindly follow so that you can produce different results. God is not a respecter of formulas. Hallelujah. It is also not always possible to fully explain or justify the sense behind a prophetic act with our human mind. It is also not worthwhile doing something that constitutes a prophetic act if it doesn't first come from God. I, I said something, I want to repeat that again. It is also not always possible to fully explain or justify the sense behind a prophetic act with our human mind. As God told Moses and Aaron to get ashes and this, they should spread it above. Does this, does this sound well to you? It sounds like something is wrong. When Jesus Christ took a clay eh, and placed it on the eyes of the blind man, that he should go to the pool of Shiloh to wash the eyes. And the person started saying, was it I mean, it, 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 it sounds, you see, it, it sounds like it's beyond human, human thinking. God bless you. Ambassadress, Monique Clark, God bless you for watching. It's, it, it, it doesn't, it, it is beyond our human mind. When Jesus Christ speaks on the face of someone and the person receives healing, it doesn't sound well. To human so the prophetic act assuming I'll tell you take this coil eh? put it in in, in in a in a in a basket and in a bucket example I'll tell you take this coil put it in a bucket of water and use it to bath three days does it sound to human beings mind the human mind will not understand it or i will tell you get a garlic slice the garlic into um, a slice them and put it into a water then when you put it into a water use it to bath does it sound like okay to humans it doesn't sound but the human mind will not have understanding of this prophetic act. So though 
basically it is a, it is a physical action the prophetic act is a physical action that god gives us to do that becomes a token or a sign or a symbol and to declare to forge breakthrough in the spiritual realm so prophetic people prophetic people someone like me prophetic people love symbolic acts in ghana we call it aquantre direction aquantre so symbolism is a language that you we we relate to it is the way we are wired in our spiritual dna so prophetic acts are prolific in the bible prophetic acts are prolific in the bible some old testament prophets are renowned for their strange prophetic acts example in Isaiah 20, Isaiah went naked. Uzziah chapter 1, verse 2. God told Uzziah to marry a prostitute. Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 5. Ezekiel lay on one side for 390 days. Eh? It's a prophetic act. It, it, it sounds abnormal in the mind of humans. Many times in the Old Testament, God used the personal lives of the prophet to communicate a specific message to his people. And Ezekiel calls, Ezekiel called was no different. God used the birth of Isaiah's son to present a message of deliverance to Israel. God used Jeremiah's buying a piece of land to declare to Israel that there was hope for the future. Whilst Jeremiah was in prison, he was able to, to buy Harak land, his cousin's land, whilst he was in prison. So God used the marital problem of Uzziah to present the infidelity of his people of Israel. God used this event to convey a specific message to the people and the death of Ezekiel's wife along with his loss of speech served the same purpose. So the prophetic act as I'm talking about, Ezekiel, Ezekiel was called to proclaim God's words to the people of Judah who were in exile in Babylon. Ezekiel has been described as an eccentric, eccentric prophet because of the extreme method used to communicate his message to the people. So Ezekiel used many symbolic actions to present his message to Israel. So this symbolic act or the prophetic act required strange behavior which were intended to communicate God's message to the Ezelic community. So in one of his revelation to the prophet, God told Ezekiel to pack his belongings, dig a hole on the wall and to go through it 
with his face covered. Hmm? It's a prophetic act. So this act was meant to convey a message to the people of the coming judgment against Jerusalem and the nature of the exile. Do you understand? So, God communicates with us in so many ways. Would you believe that where Samuel and the people of Israel they were attacked by the Amalekites and because of their sins God turned against them and the Amalekites came to fight them and they, they, they went to Samuel and say, Samuel, we have sinned against God. Call God to come and be at our head and help us. The Bible says that. And Samuel told the people, keep praying, but bring me water. And the Bible says that he poured water on that land. He poured a libation. He poured libation and told the people to pray. And at the end of the day, the enemies were defeated. Are we going to say that Samuel was a ritualist or Samuel was a Vodo practice or Wudo practice or is a fetish priest? No. This is the prophetic act. And even in the Bible, there are some rituals. It's a prophetic act, godly rituals, the poor libation. If it, the, this prophet are to be in today's um, dispensation or this dispensation, we will say that they are false prophets. They are not from God. Someone will, will, will tell me that by then Jesus Christ has not come and died. Jesus Christ even was on the prophetic act. That is why blood came out of him. His blood, as we are pleading today, his blood is still in action. So don't be ignorant of this message. So prophetic acts can also be seen in the New Testament too. Eh? In Acts chapter 21, verse 10 to 12, the Bible says that Agabus tied his, his own hands and feet with Apostle Paul's belt. Apostle Paul's belt as the Spirit warned him of his upcoming arrest and imprisonment. See, you see the symbolic act Go and read the Bible very well. Do you hear the symbolic act in Acts chapter 21? Agabus tied his own hand and feet with Apostle Paul belt, belt. And it is it means that there is an upcoming arrest and imprisonment for him. Do you get it? So there are symbols and some act in God that you see in dreams, you see a man of God doing it, or a man of God tells you, do this, do that, it will help you. And by doing all these things, it comes with faith. If I should tell you, you are sick, you have fibroid, or you are sick prophetically and I said get a coil and eh? chew this coil every day eh? with my own intention and telling you this it is faith it is faith that will make this charcoal heal you if you are sick and I, the prophet, 
giving you this also. I'm giving it to you in faith because I believe and trust and have faith that when you do it, it will work for you. This call. But let me tell you, viewers, do you know what charcoal or coal can do for you spiritually against the witches, the evil spirit, people that are working and business is not growing, things are not working well for them in their marriage, in their life, and their destiny. Do you know what this coil can do for you? It is a secret. If you are ready to learn, then I'm ready to teach you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, prophetic action is also done with faith. Though also, faith by itself, if it does not have to work, is dead. That's what James said. So, faith at its core is deep-rooted in the expectation of things working together for our good. So it is beyond what? Hope. Why hope lives in one's mind, faith is stirred in man's heart and through his actions. So if you read the story of Joshua, chapter 10, where Joshua make a prophetic declaration is, is amazing. He was on the battlefield fighting against five Amorite kings and their armies. But he needed more time, more daylight to get the job completed successfully. So the Bible says that in Joshua chapter 10, verse 13, the Bible says that, And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is it not this written in the book of Joshua? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hastened not to go down about a whole day. So he looked, Joshua looked up at the sun and made a awesome prophetic declaration. Sun, stand still. You would go down today, but you will continue to shine and give us light until the battle is ended with victory by us. So moon, don't come this way tonight. We have no need of you. Just stay where you are. And what authority that he made. What a faith. So we need to be more open to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. We need to forget. Uh, we, we need to forget the patterns that we have been hooked into for long. So the mindset that says it has to be done this way. And you have to do it this way. And the, 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 the restrictions in, in our minds that tells us you can't do that. It wouldn't be acceptable in the church. As I said, someone uh, messaged me on Messenger. Just want to know, says that by the blood of Jesus Christ that we plead on. Yes. But let me tell that person that the blood of Jesus Christ was, a, was on a prophetic act and it is still in a prophetic act and it's a symbolic action and it's still pleading for us. You and I were in there, but that the, the blood, when we plead, is still working for us. So good, you, 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 you were able to bring out about the blood of Jesus. And yes, it's a prophetic act. Do you get it? So a prophetic act 
all spiritual power for fulfillment or breakthrough. Without the blood of Jesus Christ, no reconciliation, no forgiveness of sin, no riches, no Holy Spirit, nothing at all. The, 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 the efficacy of the blood of Jesus Christ of today, yesterday, yet today and forever is because Jesus Christ went through a prophetic act and Jesus Christ is a symbolic action. That is why we are saved. Are you here to learn? Do you understand? So a prophetic act has significance in, in a number of biblical contexts. And number one, intercession. A prophetic act has a significance of intercession, has a significance of healing. If you read the intercession, 1 Kings chapter 18, 42 to 44, healing. 2 Kings chapter 5. Verse 9 to 14. Warfare. Ezekiel chapter 17, 10 to 13. Warning. Ezekiel chapter 4 and chapter 5. Foretelling. Act chapter 21, verse 10 to 12. And calling for ministry. First Kings chapter 19, verse 19. So, all what I just mentioned, a, prof a prophetic art has a, is, is a there are significance of it. Now, a prophetic art can hold spiritual power for fulfillment and breakthrough when the Holy Spirit directs. You see, when the Holy Spirit directs, you can get when you get time, second Kings chapter 13, 14 to 20. So it's, it's, it, it is also an inspired physical act as a demonstration or a venue of release for the power of God. Remember, when you obey God, anything may or can happen. Because Ezekiel, in Ezekiel chapter 4, was asked by God to perform a prophetic act on, on behalf of the Israelites. As I said earlier on, he had to lie on his left side for 390 days and then lie on his right side for 40 days, tied with ropes so he couldn't turn or move from his position. He was only to eat a set amount of certain food cooked in his excrement. So he was aghast and asked God to change it. So the Lord said he could use cow manure instead of his own excrement. When I say excrement, you understand. So I believe that God can use us mightily when we obey him. Such creativity in solving problems. Sometimes God will inspire for instructs us to perform an act when which when we obey, release, I mean his miracle working power. I can't remember when the Bible is it Exodus chapter 15 and 16, when the people of Israel appeared in the land of Shur. And through the land of Shur, they came to a land, a place of water called Mara. And the water that was, was there was bitter. So the Bible says that when they tasted the water was bitter, and Moses prayed to God, and God said to him, There is a wood. There is a, a, a branch of wood or a wood. Take the wood, put it into the water, and the water will become sweet. So when, it, when it, Moses obeyed 
the instructions from God and took the wood and put it into the water. The water became sweet. The bitter water turned into sweet. So you see, so when you obey, God releases his miracle working power. It may seem strange at that at, at the time. As it's no doubt did the people who observed these biblical miracles. But prophetic acts are occasions of, I mean, pattering with, with the Lord in the creative way. It is not that we, we come up with a, a magic spell or to make a thing happen. Rather, it is divinely inspired idea that it invokes in us a sense of wonder at its, I mean, ingenuity. Example, Aaron had a rod hmm? with the prophetic act. He just threw the rod on the floor and the rod turned to snake. Moses also had a, uh, had, a, had a rod, a shepherd rod. At the burning bush, the rod, he threw the rod and the rod turned into, what was it? There was a spiritual thing that has taken place. So prophetic act, you must not be ignorant of it. Because from Genesis to Revelation, it happens. So when you, when, when you are faced with a problem, look to God for any instructions and inspiration on what your path is in seeing a change. It may seem foolish. It may seem foolish. But as you obey in faith, the, the proof of divine origin will be seen in wonderful results. In, in, in Luke chapter 5, verse 26, the Bible says that, and they were all amazed and they glorified God and were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. Prophetic acts may, may, may sound strange to you of Christians of today, but it is biblical. Welcome, Vanessa. Hola, God bless you. If I tell you, get this garlic and get a salt, a salt, mix the garlic and the salt with, with, with a coal, mix them and use it to bath. How will it sound, sound to you? You may say that it's a demonic, but let me tell you, it is not demonic. The amount of prayer that you are praying is going before God. But with a prophetic act, it pushes your prayers before God. And it even brings the power of God for what you are seeking for in your life. For you to have your healing, for you to have your deliverance, for you to have your breakthrough. So don't ignore when the man of God tells you, get this and get that, and then combine it together and use it for uh, and use it for this reason or this purpose. What about if you read Revelation chapter 15, verse 3? The Bible says that great and marvelous are your works, O Lord, the Almighty. Righteous and true are your are your ways, King of the nations. You see, so strange things will happen, great and marvelous as his, as his work. Haven't you seen this in America? I heard some time ago. If I'm if I'm if I'm wrong, correct me. Ben him was having a big um, crusade, whereby the cameraman camera felt but there was a prayer that went on and the camera was able to work again 
That was the power of God. The Holy Ghost is there, but the Holy Ghost is part so that the, the prophetic act can manifest and you see the changes in your life. What about Second King? When the prophet sprinkling salt into a river to cleanse it. What about our? Because the Bible Sorry, my network was just distracting us. What about sprinkle salt in, in, in a river by the prophet? He said, and the men of the city said to Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord see it, but the water is not, and, and, and the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new cruise, means that a new bowl, and put salt. Put salt. It says put salt. Put salt. What is this? This one is salt. Hmm? It's salt. And they brought it to him. And he went forth to the spring of the waters and cast the salt in there and said, Thus says the Lord, I have healed these waters and, and there shall not be from thence any more death or barren land. So the waters healed unto this day according to the sins of Elisha who he speaks. Wow. Was it not a prophetic act? Woman of God, do you know this? Yes, you know this, but the idea that you have to understand this, that is the problem. It's a prophetic act. What Elisha did was a prophetic act, a symbolic action. So, if this would have happened this day, this dispensation, are you going to say that is 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 a false prophet? It's not from God. But the Bible says that it says, "That sees the Lord." That sees the Lord. It said, "Bring me a new bowl and a salt." Today, people of today. When you are being told to do this, get salt, put it in the water, use it to bath, you'll be doubting. Get a garlic, slice them, you are sick, drink them, you'll be complaining. Not only words that come out from your mouth are ways of prayers. There are so many ways of prayers. Libation is a form of prayer. Prophetic act is a form of prayer. Do you get it? So what Elijah did, he did not pray. He did not went to the water and ayah, ayah, oh heavenly father, the water, the, the reverse water are barren and they are causing death and it's infertility. It bringing death in the city. So God, Please turn the water into no. He just put, he just requested for a new bowl and salt. And he says, That says the Lord. There's no death in the water again. So the, 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 the employment of a new bowl that he brought is a, is, 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 is a significant of what new things. Eh? Cleaning, having new life, new things. And the use of salt is what? Purifying of the water. Similar, I mean that um, salt was used as a metaphor in connection with the purification or preservation. When Jesus Christ told his followers that they were salt on the earth. Believers. That is it. My name is Apostle Father Emmanuel Oka. Today is part one. Tomorrow, I'm bringing part two. And pay attention. Tomorrow, I will, I will, I will tell you what.
what is the use of how can you use charcoal how can you use charcoal to attack witches and wizards and how can you how you can use charcoal to 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 send sickness into the coven camp you can use charcoal at your workplace how you can use garlic spiritually i'll teach you tomorrow and how you can use salt not this object alone or these items alone tomorrow i'm bringing broom we have the local broom and i'll show you how to use spiritually and how it can bring favor promotion protection in your life salt has a lot of significance in the bible soon and very soon expect that teaches as well today is part one prophetic act god bless you god keep you may his countenance shine upon you may he never feel you may he bless you protect you and may he give you wisdom and knowledge and understand these teachings more and tomorrow i'm coming on your way with the same topic is a continuation of part one have a blessing day once again if you want to support the ministry from ghana if you want to support the man of god if you want to sow a seed i have my cash app let me know on messenger or whatsapp i have the whatsapp and my whatsapp number on the video description take it and whatsapp me and let's talk go to my messenger facebook messenger type me hi and i'll respond to you and let's communicate if you have faith in what god is has taught me to teach you so that you find it very easy in life and you'll be free from bondage and slave from witches and wizards contact me on my facebook messenger and i will help you god bless you god keep you see you tomorrow peace Shalom.